at Z-Prime, when we do a lot of research around emerging technologies, we find that one of the top challenges is resource allocation. What Absolutely. utilities have available and how they allocate those resources is a big challenge to them. So being able to figure out where to prioritize those resources via vegetation management, you know, what are the areas that really need to be looked at first? Is, that would be so helpful. I mean, Absolutely. And uh, also you need to start looking at how you take with, start with vegetation. At the end of the day, vegetation has, that data or the insight has to feed your outage management system because if you look at outage, uh, which, is, which is also caused by weather, but when the weather comes in, it actually affects your vegetation. And vegetation is what causes a lot of the damage. But if you look at a lot of the way outage is done today, they don't use vegetation as an input because it, doing it at scale is always difficult. Now with what we are trying to do from our approaches, now the outage systems use vegetation as input. So the outage systems tend to perform a lot better. Now this is AI at scale, right? So this is not only about talking about trying to do it in a proof of concept environment, but it's about the entire service story, and we're doing with multiple utilities right now. Yeah, and it's it's really interesting because the, the pattern that you talked about, there's the situation awareness, which is you know the insight. What are we finding out from assets? We're finding out what's the health from vegetation. We're finding out um, you know where's the high priority areas. From an outage perspective, we're trying to find out what the impact or the damage from an incoming storm is going to be. The next step is now we need a decision support system. Absolutely. We need the ability to optimize and say, okay, where do we want to focus? How do we want to um, execute? How do we want to al allocate our resources? And I think that's the point that you were on. And then the last piece is now I need to feed that into my execution. I need to be able to um, either issue contracts or I need to be able to schedule and dispatch workers. And I need to get the workers um, advanced tools. And there's quite a bit of AI happening in the mobile space as well to give them the insight to be able to make decisions and get the guidance they need to fix a, fix a problem right the first time. So it, it, that pattern seems to be following across all aspects of, of what we're doing in asset. And what he just said, we talk, we talk about getting insights to optimizing it and finally doing the work. That is what an intelligent workflow is, right? So, so when you look at AI and from our experience of doing these projects is you have to actually add value towards every part of this workflow for it to make sense for a utility. Uh, working on different parts. Although it's a great technology demonstrator, it does not get to value. So it's about solving the problem from an end-to-end -end perspective. If somebody can't make a better decision, you've got no yep. outcome. You haven't no done outcome. anything.